and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Eba! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, indeed. Welcome to the ladies and gentlemen. Podcast and chill. <laughs> Hang out with the kings of the weekend. So without the weekend, you guys would be fucked, man. You'd be kings of words. <laughs> nah, man, we're just kings. <laughs> Some are kings. Yeah, like we decided to just place it as the weekend, just, you know, so it belongs somewhere. So guys don't feel threatened yeah. in the other position <laughs> without knowing that we're actually already in charge of them. <laughs> Welcome to it. Chilling out with uh, DJ Name Spectacular. Yeah. I think this is going to be probably the shortest interview I've done because you guys have no scandals, man. You guys, like, have no... Eh? no, no pub- we're going to switch this up. We have no public scandals. Oh, we're going to switch this up and pull, play out your scandals. <laughs> <laughs> you, got- <laughs> you know we got some dirt. Ah, no, no, no. This yeah. is Podcast and Chill with DJ Names and Spectacular. Yeah. Not me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, thanks you. Thank you for, uh, for coming through. Thanks Thank so much for honor opinion. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to do this since last year, ne? right? But your schedule, I mean, like, what are we supposed to do? Hey, dude, December was hectic. Man. Come on, <laughs> come on. We're busy December, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the beginning. You guys yes. met in 2010. Like, names, what were you doing before you guys met? I think let's cla- let's just clarify something. Yeah, we kind of started working together in 2010, yeah, but yeah. we, you know, we were aware of each other like in the same Joburg space for years prior to it. So that's why I think it made it so much more simpler for us to start working together. Like, because I knew like what he was. Um, into and up to and kind of I yeah. already knew like what his vibe was like yeah. like it kind of how it fitted like with mine so it was very very cool to kind of just start working together then in 2010 and I'm glad you guys started working together because uh, DJ Naves couldn't mix with shit man well everyone <laughs> hey, so everyone knows this yeah but it's not a secret <laughs> But I still made more money than all of y'all put together. <laughs> when I Semantics. First, that's marketing. When I first heard DJ Days, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> but we the, were on the same bill. Uh, cutting the check. There. I remember the gig. I think the gig was in Pannoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the river. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that gig. I got paid. I, got paid. I think the coolest thing about it, though, as well, like, was kind of seeing you get better in time. Because then I remember... We'll take it back to Latinova days. Yeah. Like, like you knew that, like, when names came on, the building was going to shake. And it always did because he was, like, in touch with all the later stuff. I mean, I remember then, then uh, BMF had just came out. Yeah. You know, Rick Ross's BMF. Yeah. And the only person to drop it because he'd over, like, play build up sets. And then he'd play, like, at, like, one o'clock. And, like, BMF would be the did first you, song. Did you start with hip hop? Like, oh. Yeah, I did. So um, I started as a hip hop DJ. What happened was. Uh, I was hanging out with Euphonic a lot of the time. Yeah. And he was a house DJ. So I was like, actually, like, maybe an hour of hip-hop won't kill anyone. <laughs> and that's how this whole thing started. So I started off playing uh, hip-hop. Um, and then I met Spe. And the the palette was uh, exposed to different other things, which awoke then the different genres. In yeah. fact, if I remember well, um, the Nigerian stuff, yeah. When I was playing it, nobody else was playing it. Yeah, nobody club. was fucking with that. Yeah, yeah. nobody was fucking. I remember the song is that, and this was a bit late as well because we caught on, caught on to it late. Um, the song with um, oh. The Bunch. Okay, um, so now we have the Bunch. What, what's the the song? I'll tell you what the song is called now. Give us a story. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, I heard the song on on channel O, and I remember going on to download sites and looking for it. And finally, I found some whack M3 of it, ripped it off uh, YouTube, yeah. and uh, I got to Latin over. Funny enough, and I dropped it, and everyone was like singing along. I was like, "Yo, I don't know. This I song was, was gonna be yeah. yeah. This 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 yeah. was gonna be this big, but it was crazy. I remember the actual song. Yeah, which yeah. one? I, no, no, I remember. You the remember song. the song? Right? I remember the moment because I was there. Yeah. I came up and I was like, "Yo, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Yo, what's this? <laughs> And it was a really shitty MP3. <laughs> Not <Yeah>. like. <laughs> so what were you guys doing before that? Because I know you got a become, uh, you got a degree in marketing. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a degree. become accounting. I don't know why the fuck would you want to be in this industry if you've got degrees, dude? Like Cause this then, series, fuck. Because then we can. Hey. Because then, then we, we can. Because if shit goes south, we got something like to ah. hold on to. It but to. but forget that. Look at look at it this way. Yeah. I was a shit DJ, mm. right? I couldn't mix for anything. Yeah. But I had gigs because week in week out because. because I couldn't market myself. Yeah. So uh, before what? Before 2010, I was I used to work at Bada Bing Entertainment. Oh yeah. Um, with Slicker and them did some work with Squatter Camp. Uh, did some work. Funny enough, I used to A and R Questa. Yeah. Um, Yanga. Because yeah, he was on the cover. Yeah, yeah. Yanga was a videographer at the yeah. time. Uh, Nota, who is now Questa's DJ, mm. um, was the guy that worked in the office with us. Yeah. Now he's got a big he head. He thinks he's. he's... <laughs> 
CEO of hip hop. He's a uh, A and R, lead A and R. Lead A and R is African music. Period. Shout out to Nota, man. Yeah. And what about you, Spee? What were you doing? Uh, she's on my side. Like I was very much on the admin end of things. You know, like I think after I left Varsity, I started Student Village, yeah. and we were like responsible for doing a lot of those. Um, oh yeah, you pop- booked me a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. All those parties like that kind of uh, happened in the tertiary space. You know, Spin Agents, Sprite mm. Twats, Captain Morgan Spice. What a time Twats. to have been alive! We, we we put those together and took those like around the country and then like while I was doing that um, uh, I saw a position like open at 5FM and I kind of approached them just Jay like Ugh, let's just try you know and uh, as events coordinator and like and I remember they were like coming for an interview tomorrow yeah. Yeah. and uh, you know like that day I was leaving for my first time in the UK and I was like uh, I can't come tomorrow but trust me if you're willing to wait I'm worth it Mm, so, no. so, so, so when I got glass. back when I got back into the country like I, I got a message saying interview date on this day yeah mm. and just like that yeah oh good crazy uh, what do you guys think about this whole open the industry uh, movement that's going on right now what is that uh, you know like all these people are asking for uh, more talent on TV, radio, like new talent, you know, to open up the industry. Like, but some why you gotta make it like no munto petis key. Yeah. At the end of the day, here's the bottom line: is yeah. I cannot force people to like you. Yes. At all, I cannot force people to like you. So unless you're gonna put in the work, get noticed, do the grinding. Like, come on, man, you know this better than anyone, Matty. We had to put up flyers in like seven degree weather promoting a party we had to we had to do the yards man i remember you guys used to do the parties out in um rock the it's, yeah i mean it? like yeah, i remember that rock rock, 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 rock the cows what is it rock the cows yeah rock the cows you know what i mean yeah, like that never, thing yeah, didn't just it. Yeah. you know what i mean didn't just yeah. happen we put in the work for these things to happen yeah. so for you to come up and say open up the industry like you you deserve this like you, you don't like, like work it let's see that okay that work person it, man. Has prove yourself you like know what i'm saying which new TV and radio shows with new talent have great numbers? Mm. Yeah, as well, like man. The business end as well. Come on. So yeah, man. You guys. There's like, the accounting brain in you. No, but forget that, man. Like, the, I think the internet is also like tricky because if you don't really understand the internet, you'll sit at home and tweet, "Open up the industry." Yeah. Because you don't really understand the, this whole thing. You have to go for auditions. You have to uh, uh, do the yards. You have to put in the time. You need to get rejected a hundred times and get up a hundred and one times. You need to keep going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody has it easy. I mean, I was looking at um, my phone and I saw a picture pop up from about eight, nine years ago. Me and Bonang did a party in, wow. in PE. Yeah. And I think we split two grand, two grand each. Jeez. Did you understand what I mean? Do you think she took two grand now? <laughs> <laughs> 200,000 more, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, and so the, we put in the yards. And man. the thing is, in this day and age, there's so many platforms. You know, there's YouTube, there's SoundCloud. Do you understand what I mean? Why aren't the people like, for example, there are these girls doing makeup tutorials and stuff on on the internet that I've seen? They're not out there writing, open up the industry. They're, doing their they're own eating, thing. man. They're doing their own thing. Like it's the ones that are sitting at home, not doing anything, yeah. that are saying, open up the industry. If Yeah. yeah. But tell me at that time when you guys were coming up, because so many people came up with you guys, like yeah. PH, Euphonic, Bonang, like you were saying. You guys have like a small Illuminati going on there. How? Oh, yeah, Frankie. Oh. Oh. I think everyone's in their own zone, like, and it's very, very cool to kind of see. But how did you meet with those guys? So uh, Euphonic's parents and my parents, we, we found out later on in life, went to the same university. But um, I, was, I used to drink a lot. You, you don't know anymore? No, I stopped drinking in 2010. Yeah. I met Spay and I stopped drinking. Jeez. <laughs> so now I have to do enough for both of us. <laughs> Where so, we go? Uh, I used to party in uh, Benoni in, on, on that side. Yeah. And uh, Temba's from Benoni. So we met up there and then I went to his house the one day and his parents were putting the dots together for us. And I was sitting there like, all right, cool, man. Like, But that's not why we're here. <laughs> and that's it yeah and that's it so that's how I met uh, Euphonic and as well he was part of um, in high school there was this thing called Interact mm. slash uh, and we'd go on the, 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 the I mean the reward for being part of Interact was Intercon which is the craziest I don't know if it still happens but they should do an adult Intercon <laughs> I need that in my life it's called Devon July <laughs> <laughs> all the big events in the yeah. country. Okay. So then yeah. um, moved to Joburg. Um, then obviously everybody went to Varsity. He went to Vits. Temba enrolled at UJ, uh, which was then Rand Afrikaans University. Yeah. Not UJ, it was Rao. 
Um, and then we just met along the DJ circles from there. And then everybody gets to know each other from there. And it moves on. There's how, no clicks, though. How did you guys get into Metro FM? <sighs> Crazy story. Yeah. I was uh, deep before I was with um, Squatter, Slicker, and them. Yeah. I was with uh, Ammunition, Wicked, and Salvin. So I went to do an interview. Uh, Sal, uh, Wicked had an interview with Touch. Uh, with Touch. Mm. So we rolled up to there and we were late from a show. And we couldn't do the interview. And Touch was like, yo, let's go to um, Durban. Jumped into a car and we drove down to Durban to party for a night. And back, then same back, night. Same night and back in the morning. Then the following week, we were supposed to have this um, interview. interview. And by then, myself and Wicked had a fallout in seven uh, days. And what was Wicked, the fallout about? Long story. <laughs> yeah, we got more than enough time. <laughs> nah, man. Shout out. I don't know the story. So yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Wicked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out to Wicked. Yeah. Then um, I went to, to the studio. I did the interview on my own because Touch wanted to know why Wicked wasn't there. And yeah. I was just like, you know. And then this is Wicked's interview that yeah. he's supposed to be doing. He's listening on the radio. <laughs> Texting up a storm. Yeah. Texting Amu. Amu's trying to call me. I'm on air. I'm like, yeah, man. Fuck I'm not going to let these right guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the spot. So I did that. And then um, as we were walking out, uh, Touch was still uh, married to Tuli yeah. Tabete. Mm -hmm. And she said, yo, man, you should do content for Touch. Touch has a lot of international stuff, but nothing local. And then I got into um, Metro. He was, a, he was on the weekends that time. He was on weekends. Yeah. He was on a show called Rhyme and Reason. Mm -hmm. So Saturday, then yeah. for about two two. Two, three years I was producing content for touch for free no I wasn't making a cent of it and then yes uh, open up the industry yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> two three years man yeah. doing that and then uh, I started doing the mixes on the show as well and then it just grew from there and then finally the station saw, saw potential and they gave me a contract and even then the contract would cover maybe my petrol to get to um, the SABC and that was it but I wasn't complaining because my foot was in through the door, man. I was trying to get my whole body in. You know, I'm a big guy. And, and then you easy. getting into Metro? Uh, well, f for me, it was a lot uh, um, easier. Yeah. Actually, e even harder. I don't know. So, so I started like with uh, mixers. Um, at, at nights, I used to have a show on Friday nights, like uh, the Nightlife Express. And he let me mix on there. Also, Adele let me mix on the Top 40, like when he came... Um, on there as well, so like the mixes on there already, and then when I started working at five, Metro FM in the buildings right next door, so yes, the same floor. Yes. So I'd walk past Metro to get to five. So I kind of knew what was happening at Metro and hung out there most of the time as well, like when I wasn't working in my office. So this one time, uh, f f like Fistas, like who I'd gotten close to and was acting programming manager at the time, said to me very casually in passing. Do you remember like what I said to you like the first time I met you? Mm. Can you can you imagine like how vague that question is? Yeah, I, I, like I see you every day, like this for like five years. Like, what do you mean, yeah. right? I said N no, I don't. And he said okay, never mind. And then I walked back to my office and I and like it ate me up. I'm like, why would this guy just ask me this question and then just yeah. give a? So and this is face us, you know. So I went back after two hours. I was like, that question earlier, like why did you ask me that? And he said, well, b because I, I said like when I met you. I think you deserve to be on radio. Mm. And I was like, oh, yes, I remember that. And he's like, well, if you put together a demo, because it's an open slot like that we sing on the station, maybe something could happen. So, But I wanted tomorrow morning. That time it's 8 p.m. Yeah. Damn. But I wanted tomorrow morning. Mm. So I had to go make a plan, you know, hustle to record, like just like just links, like record links, and then go home and piece it together on acid with music, make it flow like a whole show, and then hand it in tomorrow like with a printed profile. Wow, do you still have those? at 5 FM yeah. for like, why are you late for work? But I was like, you, you guys have no idea. What's, going on? <laughs> What's about to happen? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that happened. And then, uh, s like, somebody like didn't sign a contract because they didn't want the show that they were being given. So then I got a call saying, listen, uh, please just go and just stand in on that show and just until this person signs. You know what I'm saying? Because now it's just open and it sounds ridiculous. And I was like, all right, cool, I'll do it. And they were like, can you run desk? And I was like, no, nah, I can't run desk. And they were like, who do you trust to run desk? And I was like, uh, Naves. Because mm. like, we were already hanging out with each other like a yes, lot, right? Yes, yes. I said Naves. They called Naves right there. He said he was available. He'd do it for me. And then he came through on Saturday. And then he just sat there behind the desk saying, yo, we, like, we want to talk. Just tell me and we'll switch it on, right? I was, was at like, work, man. I was, I was on the clock. I'm there. I'm there. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I've got prep. I've got all the info in the world. And then I said to him, like, just before we talk, that, like, listen, when you turn on my mic, please just turn yours on as well. Mm. The rest is history. Oh, wow. 
After Crazy. that, you guys are there together for like seven years. Yeah. And now you've moved to Gaga. As you wonder, what, did you guys just want to grow? Or was it like, fuck it, man. We want a weekend show. A no, weekend show. that's... Um, you, you've, you've hit the nail on the mark, man. It's just about growth. You know, I think we we put in the, the hours, put in the times at, 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 at the SABC. It's and everyone will yeah. tell that. It's all appreciated. To this day, we still appreciate the platform. But we just really wanted to grow, wanted to test ourselves, see how far we can take this uh, radio thing and and how far we can go as a duo and and in hindsight do you think that was the right move leaving metro FM? perfect yeah i have no regrets kakasi is on fire when no besides kakasi you know like you don't ever as as well because we're also creatives you don't ever want to be bogged down mm. to one yeah. thing again mm. look look at how colorful your life has been hey my life has been a mess too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll never forget when you got um, the job at at at, at Highfield. Yeah. And you had, I think you had been here for three months. Yeah. And you, they called a staff meeting and they were handing out envelopes. <laughs> and then he's like, yo, I opened up this envelope. There's a check in it. So I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck's this about? I'm like, yo, man, what are y'all fucking doing here? And they're like, no, it's your profit. He's like, yo, profit I only shit, been here for what? three months. And they're like, yo, the next time I saw him, he driving around in a range. I'm like, yo. <laughs> What's going on on that side? <laughs> That's what happens when you work for white people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, man. Yeah. So apart from your working relationship, like personally, when you guys fight, like what happens, man? Do you guys even fight at all? Because you pretty much do everything together. We spend so much time together. Like, like I think on a professional level, like there isn't really any fighting. Like, like because we're so in tune with each other's vibe. Like, nah, example, fuck out of here. I'm giving you you guys example. have never fought. I'm giving you an example. Yeah. Like, we know, like, what we do, right? Mm. So, for example, when we make a song. Yeah. And we're in the studio and, you know, like, I think really, like, when we make songs is when we'll probably step on each other's toes a little bit. But that's just a creative it's it's not is an a, issue. It's I'm a also willing word, to, man. I'm also willing to, like, l- like, we know when the other's right because we trust the other's vibe as well. Yeah. So, once the song is done in the studio, he's out of the process. Like, then it's all mine to finish and make sure it's, it's mixed and mastered and ready to go. The artwork is done. All of those things, like... I know that. So mm. there's no fighting there. Radio show. There's no fighting there. I'm in charge of the content. Like everything mm. works. And, like on the sales end, on the other end, he's that guy that goes to find work for us. Mm. Goes to find campaigns. Go, he's, he's the closer. Don't you so want to close some deals for me? <laughs> I have to fight with him there. So everything just works because everyone knows like what their role is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's important, man. I mean, um, we, we both went to boys' schools, different boys' schools. Mm. And I think that also laid a great foundation because they teach you about brotherhood there. Um, but if, some other crazy shit happens. In yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> plus that. But for example, um, if if you're in grade eight, for example, and you get into trouble, the whole group is in trouble. Uh, so if you wake up in the morning and you're late for inspection, the whole group is in trouble. Yeah. If you, they need to punish someone, they're punishing everybody. So you also learn that you need to take your brother you with you. Balls, yeah. You can't drop balls because then I'm dropping him, you know? So if uh, uh, fight is a big word. Have we had disagreements? Of course we had. We different... And, and what, 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 what do you have disagreements about? Is that Tell me the last disagreement. What to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's nothing like hectic. Like, for example, um, he'll say... I'll say, for, oh, this was the last disagreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pay. I was, I go, I went on like a phone detox for forty eight hours. So I sent him a contact card and I said, "Yo, this lady's gonna call you. Um, I've, I've done the deal. I've yeah. sealed the deal yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow." So in my back of my head, I'm like, "Come five o'clock, and this lady hasn't called you. My nigga will pick up the phone." And call this lady and say, yo, Nave said you were supposed to call me. Uh, What's up? He's like, nah, fuck that. Yeah. You said she gonna call me. <laughs> yeah, because the deal is done. So she's gonna call me. So if she hasn't called me, there's an issue then. Which, like, obviously they've spoken about. Yeah. Because he sent me two people's numbers. Mm. And he just said, these people will call you. So I didn't even know which one to do or what he spoke about. Because, like I said, there's a trust thing. Yeah. So he goes, he finishes, and then it's cool. You guys are talking about making songs. Do you? Are you guys one of those DJs that buy beats or you make your own beats? Like a bit of both. Like sometimes we come across because I mean, like like now it's so much easier for talent to actually reach us. You know what I'm saying? So mm. if you've made the, like the most amazing beats ever in the world, why am I now gonna go? Oh, that's nice, and go sit in the studio <laughs> no. for like what three weeks and try and create Yo. something better than that? And that cr- music creation process is long, man. Like yeah. it's tiresome. Um, yeah, like it's it's long. I we're, said we're opening up the industry. Yeah, <laughs> it's long. I sat in the studio with um, Prince Bulo. And we made a beat. And, 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 and then Dream Team? And, oh, man, like it's long. I'm, 
you see, I'm like creative. So here's the beat. Let's write to it. Mm. Here's the idea. Here's the idea. You know, let's work it. Now, ding, 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 <laughs> ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ronky, 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 ronky. Yeah. But like, fortunately for us now, we're in a position where you meet guys like Prince Bulo. I call him one take Prince Bulo. Mm. He, like, the, the song we did with him, he did the kick and the drum. Like, mm. at we set the BPM. And then he's like, what do you want to do? Then I came in and I did the vocal. Didn't sound cool. I got somebody else to do it. And we're like, that's the idea. And then uh, I think I stepped out to go buy ice and some drinks. I came back and this guy had already built it. was sounding good already. Yeah. Then the next thing, he takes up the bass guitar. Mm, <laughs> goes. And you're yeah. like, that's cool. That's mm. cool. That's cool. And he's like, he's playing it and he's recording over this loop. So he keeps going until he's found his magic. Yeah. Then he stops, deletes plays the magic again and he's done wow like it's amazing to work with guys that are on like that level yeah. then from there it's like he's you leave him with it and when you come back you're like oh, and what has guy been doing who have you worked with there was a dick that was like you'll never work with that guy again no nah, i can't do that i can't say that like, you'll never work with that like, like i think people have different circumstances <laughs> names that i can't do things, that. but I, I think we both have the same guy in common like that was just like Okay, you fucked us. Yeah. Cool. Was, mm-hmm. it, was it an artist or like a producer? There's artists, mostly. Yeah. Uh, like, and not just one, because also there's people like they will agree to feature on your song and then ignore your calls after that. Hey, that's fucked They're up. Like, man. studio tonight and they don't pitch. And then, they, then you see them at the club later and it's like, hey, your word. Yeah. Like, pounds and are like, nothing happened. I'm not, I'm not even scared to say it. It's like, wow. Nah, don't say Studio it. time's expensive, yo. Luckily, we have our own spot now. So oh, you got nice. to own, you got to hey, own. Hey, ching, 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 Not even, but <laughs> we're in a studio now. Yeah. The studio is your laptop and a microphone. That's yeah. it. And a sound box. Because Let's, the beat has been done. So we can, you could rap in a recording studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could record the best artist in the world. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, right now. Yeah. I uh, fucks with AK. I like him. Okay. Yeah. Then we could record AK, mm. an entire album. The budget will be six grand because mm. you have a laptop. All we need is an audio uh, yeah. box, an yeah. M box, and we plug up the mic into sound the laptop the sound card. We got the beats. He just got a tweet. People send them. You choose, and then you record. You've got. You're done. All right. Uh, enough of the serious stuff. Let's talk about the nice stuff, man. Let's <laughs> talk about ladies. Eh? Yeah. 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 I know you got married uh, last yeah. year. Uh, thanks for the invite, by the way. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Uh, before you guys that night, like we know how you are. You couldn't drink before work. We know how you are. Uh, before before you got married, the Dave's. Uh, how were you guys were with ladies, like the groupies? Did you get a lot of groupie love? Nah, we don't get groupies. Ah, come on, come on. We didn't do like uh, rock the girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we didn't have so many girls that we need our own brand of brand because she. <laughs> Do you know, like it's, we need a sponsorship now because it's crazy. You can't tell me you don't have groupies, dude. You guys travel no. the whole country, bro. I don't have groupies. Yeah. What's a groupie? That's not there. Uh, a groupie, uh, you know, is in, is a girl that you meet at a club who's willing to bust it open because yeah, that doesn't mean she's a groupie. That just means she's DDF. Yeah. That doesn't make her a groupie. Mm, I guess you got a, a point. Girl, you must remember, eh, girls are liberated now, mm. so they're no longer the prey. Mm. They're the hunters. You are. You're the prey. So when you're you the groupie. On the dance floor, you're the groupie. <laughs> you gives you that look, you already know, like, what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys ever fought, like, over the same chick? Or smashed no. the same chick? You've never fought. smashed the ch- same chick? We've never fought over her. Never fought over a girl, but no. uh, s- certain things have overlapped. Uh-huh. I'm like, not at the same time, for instance. Like, not, like, in the same month, like, years. Like, oh, that person I used to. Ah, uh, so you smashed the same chicks. <laughs> No, <laughs> I can't. I can't agree I to that. I don't For example, like let, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you were doing rock the girls, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say you uh, you slept with a girl uh-huh. in 2010, uh-huh. and then Mo slept with the girl in 2014 or 2018. Yeah. yeah. Eight years later, were you rocking the same girl? Yeah, he's chowing my leftovers. Yeah, so you weren't rocking the same girl then. No, no, no. Okay. Like that. Oh, so never never who's this girl? girl? Who's this girl that you guys know? the long. same girl. <laughs> like yeah, I've been in a relationship for years. I don't even know how it feels to be with other people anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get out of your head. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. Dude, you don't drink. You're a saint, bro. You oh, married. Oh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> what about a threesome? You guys have never had a threesome. No. Never. No. You've never had an opportunity to have a threesome. As, uh, together? Yeah. Nah. 
No, well, the prob- probably the opportunity was there, but nah. the dynamics don't allow. What do you mean? Take um, me back to I've that been day. in a relationship for like the past forever. T- forever. No, before that. Before that. But now, we weren't hanging out a lot before. We weren't that. hanging a lot before that. Mm. By the time I really started hanging out with Spare, I was ready. Like he cuffed. decided that this is the one. Yeah. And what's the crazy shit you've seen in the club, man? Uh, in the club. <laughs> We own a club, so it's a bit rough. Um, <laughs> yeah, because now we people get really places. drunk and like that swimming pool thing. Like the girls just strip. Is this says I, 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 I icon? Yeah, yeah. So icon yeah. Soweto. So they just strip and they start swimming, and I'm like, yo, how drunk are you? And then like there was an incident back in the day. East Rand, this gay guy. Oh, started something. I oh. love you while I was DJing. So yeah, this gay guy. Now I gotta tell you how this happened. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all um, the the Lay's kids. Uh, uh, LGBT. LGBT. <laughs> PQMNRSO. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to you guys. So we're in the club, uh, rocking this club. It's a nice, intimate venue. Mm. We DJing there, and this guy uh, approaches the the DJ box, yeah. and um, Spears there, and he says, "I love you," and Spears trying to ignore it. So I'm standing <laughs> on the side, like, "What the fuck's going on here?" <laughs> then he says, "I want you." And like, but the music is blaring. Yeah. Then the song hits a break. Hey. As the song hits a break. This guy is like, I want you. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> and what did you say, Spear? <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah. that smile. <laughs> also, one, I'm totally comfortable like with my sexuality. Yeah. And two, like it's just a flirt. You just smile. Like, like same with the girls. You just smile back and life's good. Hey, and you guys get to play at some of the dopest events, man. Like this past weekend, you had the Sun Met, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck you get those gigs, bro? This past week, we were at the Sun Met again, like <laughs> for the past five or six years. Wow, wow. How um, do, how do we get those gigs? I just think you know, like the most important thing for me is relationships. Relationships will get you. Yeah, because you don't have a manager, no? Uh, I have a booking agent, okay, who manages the calendar and yeah. whatever. Does the and admin the, yeah, I have, I have, I have a good, uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. a very good. Um, back, back admin person but I just think it's relationships more than anything I think that's the one thing that will get you through the toughest times in this industry mm. is people being able to call you and you being able to bend over backwards for them and so forth so sometimes your, your rate is 50 rand mm. and sometimes they don't have 50 rand they got 25 but because you know that in a year he gives you 10 50 rand notes yeah you will take 25 just to make for example sometimes you need to make them look good and just show up at a at a work function they'll call you and be like bro i just need you to come show face or or, or bro i just i don't have the budget but this is what i have so that you're not coming here for nothing mm. so relationships we'll are key man they'll make it up so yeah. i strive on relationships i strive on people being able to call me and say bro i know you charge this much but i don't have that much i have this let's negotiate i mean a friend of ours um, were, was getting married now on the 15th, 16th of December. Mm. Um, and it was, a, it was a crazy time because was, that's a busy day. Yeah, but, it's for DJs, yes. But because of the relationship mm. and because we're friends more than anything, is we're like, cool, bro, we'll cancel what we have and we'll come through for your wedding. So I can you book can you guys for 50 bucks because we have You can book us for whatever you want. <laughs> right, right. Nice to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not like... I'm also not inhumane. Yeah. For example, there's gigs like... For, I don't know if you know Mr. Lindelani Mkise. No, no, no. Mr. Lindelani Mkise is one of the greatest Man. music men, people in this Why country. Like... But Mr. Lan- you need to Google Lindelani Mkiza, man. TKZ, Lindelani Mkiza. Joyous Celebration, Lindelani Mkiza. So he's a mm. great guy. There's events we've done with him, which people are like, huh? what are you guys doing with Lindelani Mkiza? I'm like, you guys just don't understand the caliber of this man. Mm. For me, it's not about the money. Mm. It's like, I, I, I'm here this with, yeah, yeah, with Lindelani. Yeah, mm. Like, we here. I felt that uh, like that way like this afternoon like funnily enough yeah. I, I was like before we went to radio I had to go see Bruce Sibitlo because mm. uh, l- like his but Bruce yeah ah, like sweetest guy ever mix in one of our songs like can you hear what I just said to you fucking hell it's Bruce songs. and yeah. we're sitting and we're going through the song and we're talking about it and Bruce says to me you know like I feel like I should add a little bit of uh, here and here he's doing the mixing did this guy really think that I'd say no? <laughs> this is, this is Bruce, Bruce, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend. I grew up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, damn it. Come, yeah. come on. 
Tebe calls me and says, yo, my boy, I couldn't, I couldn't speak. Yeah. I gave the, the phone to spare. I'm like, like it's Tebe. <laughs> I'm in a position now. I'm helping uh, Bugalov um, sent me his single. Wow. It's Cabello. Dude, Buga two it's shoes. Two shoes, Fatsula for life. Yeah. Like, and then, he I says, t- then he says, I love Pamba. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, what? man. Do you like, understand? That's like, gonna be the greatest feeling, special. bro. I said, I was saying to Spear, like, how, how, yeah. how, how, how? My first interaction with Cabello was, I was like, yeah, this guy is such a dick. <laughs> but I understand now. Yes. He was at the prime of his career. He was on drugs, on substances. He had to be that guy. Yeah. But I was like, yo, man, this is the guy that made Amashele. Yeah. Like, Amashele. Do like, you understand? It's insane. I'm not even asking if you're on drugs. You don't even drink, though. <laughs> Speaking about money, do you guys fight over money? Because obviously it's a two-man operation, yeah? But the coolest thing about it is how we started it. From the very beginning, we've invoiced separately. Mm. So our money line has always been separate. So for, like, like if you if you book us, you pay him his half, you pay me my half. Ah. Story. Yeah. So and your rates separate. are the same, or yeah, no, you don't yeah. know? So it's the same rate, but just split into two, like whatever it is. Okay, who's the brains behind this operation? Both of us. Mm. Mm. Like said, is the mats. We have areas of ingenuity between us. Yeah. Mm. And you guys have, uh, you got your own businesses as well? So you're not only just DJing, eh? Yeah. 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 Icon, so it's end of things. I'm still waiting for you guys to book me at Icon, bro. So, oh, like, have you picked up the phone and said, yo, listen, I want to come out to Icon? Have so you? many times. To show me. To, show to, to, me, to show me. I only speak to his pig. Oh, yeah. Show yeah. Me that you're a married man. Yeah, leave me out of this, <laughs> man. <laughs> and it's probably word to you. Yeah, come out to Icon. Yeah. Because I haven't seen you at Icon. No, no, no. I was there like in December sometime. Hey, me? fuck. It was late, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. tell me? We left at like four in the morning, bro. Yeah. I was with yeah. Zero, Hudson, yeah, all those yeah. guys. Like, it was too much, bro. You know, outside there by the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you that? Sorry, enough. A man called me yesterday. He says, you know, Joe, messing with what young chicks, man. It's a problem. <laughs> like, why? It's like, no, Joe. The other day I was at Icon. I'm like, oh yeah, that's my club. He's like, ah, 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 ah. he's like, Joe, I left there at 5 a.m. Yeah, I still had to go home. <laughs> what was I doing in the first place? Yeah. So you got Icon. What other businesses do you guys have? We've tried. Let me tell you, man. Icon is the one that's um, almost like shining right now. Yeah. Everyone is looking at it and saying, yeah, you guys are pushing. Let me tell you, man. We tried a, a transport business mm. and we got burnt. We got, mm. It was a VIP shuttle business. We really got burnt there. Um, Icon is is an ongoing learning experience. It is probably the hardest business I've ever, ever gotten into. Yeah. Ever in Entertainment is difficult, but the, the club business is... It looks easy when the club is of packed. Of course, yeah. yeah. You're like, ah, this guy is counting, yeah. killing it. <laughs> um, and the enough, overheads are crazy. Of course. I had to mm. sit down with the community. Mm. And they were like, yeah, you guys are making so much money. I said, cool, come. You guys want to be my business partners, right? Come. And I opened up the books and I showed them and the lady was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. And you, you're three years strong now, eh? Uh, second year, years going, we're in the third year, starting wow. the third year in November. Wow, December. wow, man. Yeah. That's amazing. So do you, how, how important do you think it is as a DJ to have like other businesses on the side? It's very important. Nothing is guaranteed. Mm. Nothing is That's guaranteed. That's why I understand man. why you'd want to be in this industry when you have so many degrees. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's guaranteed also like i think the point of entry of being a dj is so much easier back in the day like you needed to like go to this club for like two years like before they even want to hear that you can dj mm. you know mm. and then play for the bounces demo, maybe or like somebody's Dude. late so oh. like somebody's late so then you get a chance to play now i can do a mix at home and put it up and people like it and then i can just come with that and say here's my data people like my shit forget yeah. that man like i remember um r.i.p to to eldo yeah, Aldo, you'd be playing opening set, and if you were rocking, he'd come through and they move. I show you how to do it. Say la vie. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sister Patina. <laughs> yeah. And then it would pack up. Of course, everyone would move from the sides yeah. Yeah. to the dance places. I don't even have to mix, oh, wow. and they love me. Wow. So do you guys still remember your first song? Because mine, around. I was still playing with the very, um, what's it called, Serato, but the. Yeah. The vinyl one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, my, my first set was horrible. That's sea Life booked set. me. First set on Serato already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we started <laughs> DJing <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> crazy, yeah. Bro, I remember all my kids. I just remember that I used to be terrible, but um, 
Adil, man. Shout out to Adil. Yeah. Adil, Adil. You know, Adil put me on. Did he? Yeah. Let me tell you what Adil did to me. Yeah. Adil's my boy now. Yeah. Cool, Fucking Google Adil if you don't know him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Adil, I sent him a demo. I was whack. And actually, I got to take this up with C Live. C Live let me record a whack demo <laughs> at his house and did nothing to stop me. FaceTime the guy, right? I got to FaceTime the guy <laughs> and be like, yeah. <laughs> I might be like, Clyde, tech. and then, and then tech. <laughs> Sabotage. No, 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 no. This guy, this time. No, no. Like, yo, Clive, man, you let me record a whack demo, uh, hand it in to a deal, and then I got, the rejection was crazy, though. A deal didn't say anything. Yeah. He killed me like that, too. Like, when he fired me, like, from his show, and the yeah. mixes, he kept quiet. Yeah. Yo, did you get the mix? Silent. Because he's a perfectionist. And, they, and they, like, then you listen on A, and, and it's naked DJ mix, and you're like, <laughs> Am I that bad? And I spent five hours doing this mix. <laughs> then it's on, it's on acid, like paint, paint, paint. You know, about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I will get him. Don't worry. Yeah, he's probably doing another demo for someone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. A deal. All right, cool. So we've got about five minutes left. Fucking yeah. hell, time flies. Mm. I want to play a game to see how well you guys know each other. Cool. Ne? Uh, so names, you're gonna ask a question and then Space is gonna try guess it and then you'll tell us if he's right or not. Uh. Okay, cool. I'll ask the question. Uh, Spare. Yeah. When you had a gig. Uh, you're just done. The DJ is running late. You have to play one more song. What is your go to song? My go to song. Mm. So, do I need to tell you the song? Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, shush, shush, shush. No, he, no, he needs to. So he, needs, he must guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Names must, must guess. What is Space's go to yeah. song? We know how to close our sets. Yeah, well, of course. The go to yeah. song, we, we always finish with our own records. Always. Uh, bumper. <laughs> bumper. Always, yeah. So right bumper. now it would be Bumper. Right bumper. now it would be Bumper. And then, um, okay, I'm going too far. <laughs> I was going to tell you the opening song as well yeah. and how we do the whole thing. So it's the same song for both you guys. Yeah, yeah. so so basically, you before you even play your intro, you got to play what you're working on. Mm. So with Bumper, we played that beat for six, seven, eight months. Wow. Oh, yeah. Before you see we the vibe. actually yeah. recorded on it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and now we've got a, a song we're working on with uh, Legends, Tebe, and Unati. And wow. that's the first song we play. We play, we let it play. Then we do an intro. And what then genre take is it? it house? Or? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a house. Nostalgic 122 house. nostalgic oh, house. Nice. 125. Eh? 125. Mm. Damn, I thought it was 122. 125, it's just the flavor of it. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. Okay, so let's, let me try this again as the host. Okay, so Naves. <laughs> <laughs> what is Spare's Women Crush? Is it every day or Women Crush Wednesday? Whatever. Either or, he knows. It changes so much. Yeah. Women Crush. Maybe, but the, the, the biggest one crush that's right been now. there yeah. for years is Boy Titulo. Yeah. Is he right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And and and, and Naves, I mean, and Spay, what's Naves uh, woman crush? Apart from his wife. To be very honest with you, like, can we take it back in time? Yeah. Because, okay, so he's married now, but everyone knows. Claire Maui and stuff. Like oh, Claire Maui! Claire Maui! For a long time. Yes, bro. yes! Yeah. I want so clear a gig. She looks better in person. <laughs> Like, Let me tell you what's crazy for me about Claire is Claire embraces us so much. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm always just like, why? I'm gonna throw it all away, man. <laughs> Dude, you're living your best life. You go book her two shoes on speed dial, Claire. My <laughs> yeah, but when you call her, she never answers my call. So I'm just like, ah. okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, and then uh, Spare, what is Nave's idol in the industry? Like someone he looks up to. If he ever needs advice, who's the one? He's the one person you will call. Jeez, there's the, see the thing is like it's into different things, so mm -hmm. it's a little tricky because there's the soccer, there's the music. So let's say you want to leave Gaga CFM, who would you call? Let me see. I've got to think about this because it's also got a couple of mentors in that space as well. Oh, no, Nati. Oh, Nati. Mm -hmm. Not him saying, I'm saying, yeah. okay. Uh, Is he right? Yeah. Okay. She's and one of two. It's one of two. Mm. Who's the other guy? Andy Lengube. Mm. Andy Le yeah. Yeah, He's smart, eh? Yeah. Uh, and uh, names for Spay? It would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him, yo, pack your bags, we're moving. <laughs> Are we in that? Are we? <laughs> I do my summer. <laughs> yeah. I said that to him when we did, we left uh, Metro. I said, Emuna, ya do my ratama. It's like, eh? I'm like, yo. Because I didn't take him to the meeting yeah. where I said to them, yeah, well, we're not going to renew. So I came out of that meeting. I'm like, yo, bro, I just resigned from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's savage. With man. no plan, eh? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. I didn't know what I was doing. So when you left, you didn't know Kagazi was going to come for no, you guys? No, no, no. Wow. At the time, remember that he resigned both of us and then they were like, no, come, let's talk about it. Yeah. And so when we knew that we're no longer coming back, 
that guy's had been knocking for years. Mm. They've been knocking so, for years. So so, so 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 we're like, yo, is that chat still on? And they were like, oh shit, we had no plan for it this year, but are you keen? Mm. It was a case of, yeah, well, let's sit down and talk. And how's it been like uh, working in Durban? It's different. Hometown for me, bro. So for oh, me, yeah. it's amazing. I'm taking off like a life dream. You know, I, like, I grew up listening to, you know, idols like in that case, in space, Bob Laws, like Kansas City. I've always wanted to, to kind of be um, like to have like what I do revered like in the same magnitude yeah. so for us now to have the, like the most relevant kind of radio show for guys our age and yeah. just, you know like that generation is amazing for me uh, and Dave's that different was like <laughs> big time <laughs> it's different though um, I'm appreciating the Zulu culture more because yeah. uh, uh, was something or someone <laughs> and, and as well man do you guys stay that side do you yeah. have houses there yeah, we live there. So, yeah. because I grew up in Joburg, my Zulu is accommodating to Sutu, Tswa, Nasha. Everybody can hear it. Mm. Then you go to KZN and you realize that your dialect is horrendous. <laughs> oh, another Zulu. There's an entire <laughs> Zulu on my stoop. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm learning the language. I'm enjoying that. And it's just been a different experience. It's 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 a, an entire different way of thinking. It's an entire different way of 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 working with people, you know, yeah. um, the the respecting is so huge mm, in that culture, man. Mm. It's 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 on another level. Yeah. I've never I've never been at a place where respect is, is common, yeah. amongst, especially amongst black people. Mm. But with the Zulu people, there's like um, is it it's like a hierarchy. Mm. For example, I go to Spare's house, Spare's room savings. Mm. It's wild, but as well, he's the head of his house, mm. so he's like caught in two. Yeah. It is the wildest thing ever, man. Like, and when no sevens in Africa, whatever, whatever, you move the meat over. Then from then on, y'all are up here, man. Traditional beer. Yeah. Uh, they at your beck and call. Velu de pegumos. How's how's up? How's it up? I'm fine. And it's just all like it's it's different. Fuck and then man. I come home and I try to put that in my own. Hey. <laughs> I think like also like another cool thing like which really opened um, our eyes up was just the listener in KZN. Yeah. Mm. Like they are so like how we approach radio is so new to them mm. and they fully embrace it. And uh, like I think it's opened up like as much as the stuff that, that happens on the show is hectic. Yeah. Like like, like engagements and interactions wise. Yeah. I think though like we're also helping to open up yeah like, you know yeah. people's thinking yeah cool man sure fuck i could talk to you guys the whole day man but i'm out of time yeah. uh thank you guys oh, man, for the through. internet my man you don't <laughs> run out of time you, you want to go for another episode i will be here the whole day <laughs> bruh <laughs> but anyway listen thank you so much for coming through thank you. uh what's coming up in terms of kings of weekend uh you know are you guys releasing music obviously you got yeah. that song with night yeah. are you opening an icon in limpopo what's going on what's Brand happening so dropping <laughs> first and then like after that uh we're looking at playing around in different spaces of business but 2019 you, there's some more surprises in store can i convince you to have a drink with me this year names a drink and alcohol on. yeah no hey look at this guy hey nah, it doesn't taste it. nice man like you get drunk you wake up with a hangover <laughs> you it's, the hangover. it's not the drinking yeah, the drinking. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you could kill the hangover yeah. you could guarantee me yeah no hangover yeah uh, ow, and then you gotta wake up in the morning with a big sh- you gotta take a big dump <laughs> ah, man. Hey, we're out of time man thank you so much this has been Podcast and Chill thank you guys I love you guys so much man I love your hustle long may really continue appreciate it, bro. and yeah if you got a gig and you need someone to stand in for you don't worry give me a call maybe like interest maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy from rocking the girls condoms and i look forward to playing an icon soon man sure. you Let's know do what it. I mean? yeah man that's paying names out of the building uh, what are your handles in, as if you need dj n a v e s everywhere at spectacular s p h e yeah s p h e c t a c u l a you got me yeah all right boom we up podcast and chill matt g the ghost lady and len moleko